Thank you for joining me today. I'm gonna to run through some quick slides here to get you started on setting up your account and connecting your various accounts to close. So let's dig in. Your team is gonna invite you. That's how you're gonna set up your account. So look for that invitation. You'll see it in your inbox. It'll look like this. Tap on accept invitation. That'll bring you over to close and then you'll sign up from there. When you do sign up, you'll see a screen like this. If you have a Google account, Gmail account, you can sign up with Google and use that as your login or you can enter in your email address and a password that you'll use with close. Remember that password because that username and password combination is what you're gonna use to log in in other places like on your iPhone or Android or iPad or tablet or wherever you're working close. So do keep track of that username and password so you can use it again in the future. From there, we're gonna have you connect your accounts. If you have a Google account, connect that to close. What I recommend is you connect the accounts where you communicate with your clients. So if you use Gmail, to communicate with your clients, connect that to close. If you use Office 365, use that instead. Whatever you have, connect those accounts to close. You don't have to connect all of these, just the ones where you're communicating with your clients. So go down the list, connect your Google, connect your Office 365, your iCloud, your GoDaddy, whatever you got, connect those to close. I also recommend downloading the app on your iPhone and Android. So if you're an iPhone user, go to the Apple App Store, search for Close, C-L-O-Z-E with a Z, look for Close, download that app and install it on your phone. Then you can log in with those credentials you just created before. On Android, you can do the exact same thing. Go to the Play Store, search for Close, and then install it and log in. You can use Close on as many devices as you'd like. So if you've got an iPhone, a tablet, and a computer, use it in all three places that's fine, use it on as many devices as you'd like. As you're going through the setup flow, you can connect lots of different apps and services. For iPhone users, you're gonna connect your call history to close by connecting your mobile provider directly. Apple's got a lot of great privacy controls on all of their devices, which is great for all of us, but that also means that app developers like us can't get to your call history on your device like we can with Android. For iPhone users, we're gonna go and have you connect directly to your carrier. Connect to AT&T, connect to Verizon, T-Mobile, or Sprint, and we'll pull in that call history for you automatically. And it's truly automatic. Make a call, receive a call, will automatically log those calls for you. Android users, it's a little different. You're gonna connect directly on the device. As you're connecting your accounts, I highly recommend first going over to Verizon Wireless, logging in there, first going over to AT&T or T-Mobile or Sprint or wherever you work or whatever wireless provider you have, go log in outside of Close. Make sure you have that username and password correct. Then come back to Close and use the exact same username and password inside of Close and that'll get you connected. If you have a family plan, make sure that you're the account manager. Sometimes it's a little confusing, but I highly recommend just checking all that outside of Close and then coming back and you'll have success connecting. If you're on an Android device, it's a little different. You're gonna see a different option to connect. You will do this on your Android phone. For iPhone users, you can connect your carrier either on the desktop or on your phone, but for Android users, you're gonna connect directly on your device. You're gonna tap on that connect button. That's gonna bring you over to the Play Store. You're gonna download a completely different app. That app is dedicated to just call and text sync logging. So install that app, authorize close, and then you won't have to worry about that app going forward. It'll just run in the background for you, logging all of your calls and texts for you. So this is one advantage for Android users and really the only difference between the apps. For Android users, we can automatically track your text message history right from the device. Apple's got a lot of privacy controls, so we can't do that for iMessage. After you're done connecting accounts, close is gonna get to work and we're gonna create a single view of every person you know. You'll see all all of your calls, emails, notes, files, everything brought together for you automatically. That is gonna take some time. So we're gonna be analyzing all of your communication patterns, figuring out who you know best. We'll deduplicate and merge contacts for you across all those services. This can take minutes, so 30 minutes or less, or it can take hours. It really depends on how many accounts you connect to close and how long those emails are served up from all of your email providers. You will see that spinner going as we're processing. That's totally normal. You can walk away from close. You can close the browser. You can close your computer. It doesn't matter. We're doing everything on our end. We'll notify you as soon as it's done. One thing to also point out is this sync only has to happen once. We'll do this initial sync once and then you won't need to do it again. It's just one deep sync we do when you first get started. We'll alert you as soon as your account's done processing and then you'll be able to jump into your account and get started. It's fully configured. We've set up all of the customizations and everything with your team. So it's ready to go. You can start using it immediately. You don't have to worry about making any changes at all. You can just dig in. 
I do highly recommend using the various tips and tours we have built in to close. You'll see these little boxes pop up, read them, try a few of them as we go. Those tips can be very, very helpful in giving you some context on how to use close. Okay, so let's now dig in. I'm gonna walk through actually connecting accounts live inside of a demo, so let's do that next. I'm gonna show you how to connect your accounts to close. You're gonna first start off by accepting that invitation that your team has sent you. You'll see that invitation right in your inbox. Just tap on accept. That'll bring you over to close. You'll see the exact same sign up screen, whether you're on mobile or you're on the desktop. I'm gonna do the desktop today just because a little more space, it's easier to see. When you do tap on accept, that'll bring you over to this page. You'll either sign up with Google, so you can sign up with Google right here, or you can enter in your email address and a password that you'll use for close. Your email address will be your username and then the password will be your password for your close account. Remember your password and username because you'll use the exact same email address and password to log in in all the other places you're gonna use close. So on your iPhone or your Android or wherever you're logging in, you'll use the exact same credentials in all places. I'm gonna enter in my email address here and my password, and then I'm gonna tap on sign up with email. Tap on that button, review my email address, make sure there's no typos, then I'm gonna tap on looks good. So from here, Close is gonna present me with an option here to add my various email accounts. So you can scan down the list. If you have a Google account, connect that. If you have an Office 365, connect that, and so on. So I'm gonna connect an Office 365 account to my Close account. I'm gonna tap on add. I'm gonna add in my email address here. I'm just gonna type it in. And I'm going to hit connect. And that's going to bring me over to Microsoft to authorize. Now I'm going to enter in my password, put it in there, tap in sign in. That's going to log me in. If you're already logged in, you won't have to enter it in at all. I'm going to hit yes. And now I've successfully connected that account. So now I can go down the list and connect other accounts. I recommend connecting only the accounts that you use to communicate with your clients. So if you have several others, feel free to connect as many as you'd like. An example, maybe you have a GoDaddy account, you can connect that to close too. So let's take a look at doing that. I'm gonna tap on add on other email here. So I'm gonna type in my GoDaddy email address, and then I'm gonna type in my password, and then I'm gonna tap on connect. And I've successfully connected that account as well. So now I'm gonna connect a Google account to close. So let's look at that. Tap on add, I'm gonna say allow, and now I've connected that account as well. So now I have a Google account, an Office 365, and a GoDaddy account all connected to close. You can connect as many email accounts to close as you want. But again, I recommend connecting only the ones where you communicate with your clients. You can also connect multiple Google accounts or multiple Office 365. So if you have multiple, feel free to click on this and then add the other accounts too. Tap on next. And now I can add other services as well. So let's connect my Evernote account. Tap on the connect button. Now I'm gonna authorize my Evernote account, enter in my username, tap on continue, enter in my password, sign in, and then authorize the account. So now I've connected my Evernote account as well. Let's connect a Dropbox account. Tap on connect. So I entered in my email address and my password, tapped in sign in, and now I've connected my Evernote and my Dropbox account to close. All right, let's connect my AT&T account as well. I highly recommend before you connect your mobile provider, before you connect AT&T, first go over to att.com, log in there, make sure you have your username and password correct, and then come back to close. Same thing for Verizon, same thing for T-Mobile, same thing for Sprint. We don't typically log in to these services very often, so it's easy to forget our password or not quite be sure log in there, and then come back to close. Use the exact same credentials and you'll have success in connecting. So let's tap on connect next to AT&T. So I'm gonna type in my phone number and then my password. This is a family plan, so I'm not gonna to toggle on Premier Business. I'm gonna tap on connect, then it's gonna spin here a little bit, give it time. Now it sent a security code to my phone, so I'm gonna get that code. Now I'm gonna enter it and press connect. I have a family plan with AT&T, so Close is presenting me with a list of all the lines on that account. I'm gonna select my number, which it already has done, and then tap on save, and now that account is connected to Close. Let's also connect my Ring Central account. So I'm gonna click on connect next to Ring Central. I'm gonna enter in my phone number, 
and I'm going to enter in my password. And then I'm going to tap on connect. And now Ring Central is connected as well. So I've easily connected my Evernote, my Dropbox, my AT&T, and my Ring Central all very quickly. It's very easy if you have all those passwords. So again, make sure you have those ready to go and you can connect them to close. Now I'm going to click on next. I'm going to select real estate. And then close is going to get to work. You're going to see this spin for a little bit. We're going to be processing all of your information in the background. This can take minutes. So 30 minutes or less, or it can take hours, depending on how many emails you have in your accounts. So if you have a very large email account or you've connected many email accounts, it can take a few hours or more for us to do this initial processing. The one thing to note is this is a one-time initial sync. We only have to do this once. Going forward, things will sync very fast for you. It's just a one-time deep sync to figure out all of your relationships, analyze those relationships, understand those patterns of communications you have. We're also merging and deduping contacts and doing all kinds of things for you behind the scenes. So when we're done, we'll notify you that it's been completed. You can leave the screen. You don't have to stare at it or watch it. We're going to do all the work on our end. We'll notify you as soon as it's done. So thank you. And hopefully that was a helpful video to help you get started. We have more videos you can watch to help you go from here. Thank you. If you need any more help, check out the support section at close.com or email us with any questions.